2023 Bob Pollock Invitational. We are here with Clemson mid-distance junior Tyrese Roden. He ran an impressive 148, 800 meter today. Looked very dominant. How did it feel just to go out there and run that time and just lead the pack? I mean, it was more like like a learning process, like training, because you know I haven't been in the best of shape since the previous weeks. You know, I just came back from injury. And then you know that's my fastest opener, so you know it's it's a bit motivational. So it gives me a more confidence coming into Tiger Park. And Tiger Park, I'll be more ready. I'll be more excited. I'll be more ready to go. So it was a great race. Mm -hmm. So this was a three-second improvement compared to the 800 you ran last week. Uh, just what mindset did you have different coming into this race? Did you have a different uh, strategy or well, plan? Or well, it's kind of two things. Like last week, uh, we got here like pretty late. And then we had to wake like eight o'clock for a for a team meeting, and then I ran like two hours after. So it was kind of like it was a bit depressing and nagging and dragging. I was a bit tired. Like I got to 500, and I'm just dead. That's not me. Like I got over probably like 53. I need to feel hard. So I was just tired based off of traveling and all that. Like everything was just rushing, and then it was good. Enough. So getting that three second improvement, what does this do for your confidence coming forward for this indoor season? I mean, it doesn't necessarily like give me a hype confidence because I know like my ability and I know what I'm capable of. I mean, I've ran 147 in a bad race before. So I mean, I know what I can do, but I mean, 140 right now indoors, still January. I got like conference coming up. I got a lot of, a lot of more meets coming up. I got like two more 800. So. I'm just looking to get better and better each time, you know, trying to get a personal best indoors. And I'm really looking forward personally for outdoors because, you know, that's where the real deal is. But I mean, just working on getting better and better. Each so aside from defending your ACC title in the 800, are there any particular goals you have in mind for this indoor season? Uh, this indoor season is just to stay consistent, stay healthy, get better and better, qualify for nationals, and just, you know, stay consistent. It's like, you know, stay hungry, because, you know, you got you to do what you got to do, try to become All-American. And as it relates to, like, defending my title for ACC, I mean, there's not much pressure but to just go there, because, you know, I could only do my best, and my best is, only my best is good enough. So that's, that's what I'm aiming for. Right? Then head coach, mid Clemson mid-distance coach, Mark Elliott, He's one of the best to do it in the country. Just talk to me what it's like having him as a coach and your favorite part about it. I mean, personally, he's a great person. He's a great mentor. You know, he knows exactly what he's doing. He knows what we're capable of. And sometimes it's a bit like challenging in terms of like his expectations because sometimes he'd be like, okay, go at a certain time and you're like, huh? But I mean, like he trains us so he knows what we're capable of. And you know, he's a great family friend. He's a great coach. He's like, you know, he's like a father figure, you know, like he's always there for us in any type of way and stuff like that. And he's always motivating, like, you know, like if we run bad today, like he's like, you know, you could do better, like, you know, stuff like that that keeps us going and he doesn't discourage us. So, I mean, it's a, he's, he's a great coach. Then lastly, a lot of people in Clemson, they call you by the name Smooth. Just tell me how that name came about and when everyone started calling you it. I mean, that came about uh, in high school. I was running a, a four by four and they said that's the probably, probably one of the smoothest like 45 sticks they ever seen. Cause I mean, I was coming back off an injury, but it was just the whole hype and the crowd. And like, I was, just, honestly, I felt like I was strolling and it just kept going and then I won. The 800 that year and they were like wow mr smooth and then i was like that's a good name <laughs> like, that's you're like that that definitely got a stick yeah because um some it was supposed to be mr silk but i think um <laughs> omar mcleod had that name so i was like nah and then you gotta do your own thing yeah and then it just came and i'm like mr smooth like, i'm like you know that's pretty good so i just work with it and you know i just try to stay smooth as always Alrighty, well that was Tyrese Roden. Got a big time 4x4 coming up. And yeah, thanks for your time, Tyrese. Alright, like, share, and subscribe. Gotcha.